So my name is Kyneton the Tech Pro and I'm going to show you how to perform linear regression in Python and also we perform it in R and then we compare the results. Basically, we are going to find the function that relates these two uh, data, value, uh, data value sets, x and y. So the question is y is equal to mx plus c, but in, in linear regression times we say y is equal to f of x, which is beta 0 plus beta 1x. Beta 0 and beta 1x are called the regression coefficients. So, both in classical uh, geometry, we have the slope and the intercept. So, they are all the same thing. So, let's start with R. So, I'm going to open R. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. So, just click on the subscribe button below so that you subscribe to my channel. In that way, you motivate me to continue making these lessons for you. Also, if you have any challenge, please let me know. So, just subscribe to my channel and that will make sure you make sure you don't miss an update. So at this point, I'm going to press Control L on my keyboard to, to delete, to clear the workspace. So the first thing we want to do, we want to bring in this data from Microsoft Excel. As you can see, this data, I want to bring it into our uh, workspace so that we can use it. So let me teach you a little trick to do that. So what you do, select the data, copy it to the clipboard. So at this point, we can now get this data from the clipboard. This is the time I'm going to assign it into a variable called my data equals. So we are going to say read dot table. Specify that file is equal to clipboard. Specify the separation to be tab, and then I specify the header is true because I also copied the header which is x and y. So if I hit enter on the keyboard. I'll see that this data has been imported into our workspace. So if I say my data, you can see that this data is already here. So the next thing we want to do, the next thing we want to do is to plot this data uh, on a scatter plot. So to plot this data, I simply use a plot command. Plot is very easy. Plot uh, x and y, x, y, yeah. So x, y, y, x. So it's going to be y, x. But if you say y, x, it's going to be a bit confusing. So this y, you need to specify that this y is coming from my data. So you're going to say my data dollar sign y, and then my data dollar sign x. So if you do it this way, then you are going to get the correct plot. So let's see. So you can see the data has been plotted. All right, the next thing we want to do is to fit a linear regression line through this data. So to do that, we now first create a regression object. So let's call it uh, uh, lin mod, linear regression model. That's the name of the object or the variable. Regression object is equal to lm. They say my data, my data y, just exactly as you did before, my data x. So this is exactly this, uh, wait, what happened here? My data x and my data y. Okay, so let's try. I think I need to use this tilde symbol. So the syntax, I think, is going to be the this symbol. Let's see. Okay, so you actually need to use the symbol here. So now we've created the linear regression object called linmod, and then finally we want to fit the regression line through the data. So to do that, uh, simply say upline and specify the linear regression model that we created, and then specify color is equal to, let's say color is equal to red. I think I get it kind of wrong. So it's actually my data y. Okay, let's see. So let's see, is it going to be... So the plot is going to be my data y, my data x against my data y. So let's see, let me check something. Okay, so actually there is some discrepancy. So I'm using a comma here, but I, it's actually going to be the tilde symbol, okay? So at this point, if I now plot, use the upline, you see that it fits perfectly. So that was a mix-up sometimes. So in Python, we use comma. Here, we use the tilde symbol. 
All right, so um, this is a linear regression model. So how does what does it have to do with this equation? Y is equal to x plus c. So to do that, to get the coefficients, simply at this point write lean mods. So you can see that it gives us a coefficient of 12.05 for the intercept. So basically beta 0 is 12.05 and beta 1 is 2.142. So if we go ahead to write this equation, we are going to have it as we are going to have this equation as y is equal to beta 0, 12.05, 12.05 plus 2.14x. So this is what the equation looks like from R. Let's now do the same thing in Python and let's see if we are going to get the same thing. So I'm going to open Jupyter Notebook. If you install the Anaconda, just go to the Anaconda installation and open Jupyter Notebook. So in case you are a beginner with Python, you can actually follow along because my tutorial assumes that perhaps you don't have a good knowledge of uh, Python or, or Jupyter Notebook. So you can follow along in this tutorial. So I'm going to start a new notebook. So just click on new and choose Python 3. So it's going to give a name untitled to this notebook. So I'm going to click on this untitled and just change the name to Lean Reg Demo. All right. So this is a bit different from how I'm um, uh, typing R. So in this case, we are going to be typing inside the cells. So the first thing I want to do is import the modules we are going to use. So import NumPy as NP. And then import maths, matplotlib.py plots as plt. So matplotlib.py plot helps you to plot in Python. So again, we need to import linear regression, and this we, we are going to import it from sklinear.linear underscore model. From this library, imports linear regression. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to just run these three lines to make sure there is no error. So for now, there is no error. So again, we are going to look for a trick to import this data from Excel into this place. So it's a bit tricky in the case of uh, Python, but we are going to do it. So first, we are going to say create an array. We are going to create an array of x and y. x is equal to numpy dot array numpy dot array okay so y is also numpy dot array okay so now we want to put in x values into this array and y values into this array as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to first uh, let me just first shift this a little bit to this side so i'm going to just transpose these data into a horizontal, uh, two horizontal lines. So let me just copy it, and then I'm going to paste it here. But to paste it, I'm going to drop down this paste icon and choose transpose, all right? So I choose transpose. So at this point, I could then copy them one by one. So, I mean, copy them uh, one one uh, data set by one data set. So if I copy this, this is for, for the x I'm going, I'm going to copy, I can now paste it in here. But I, I need to arrange it a little, so I'm going to just put comma in place of, I don't know what kind of symbol is this, so just delete them and use comma in place. Uh, right. So hopefully everything uh, is okay. We are not miss, uh, missing out any of the values. And we are going to do the same thing for the Y values. So let's do the same thing for the Y values. So I'm going to just click here and I'm going to copy and I'm going to also paste it right here in Python and just change all these symbols to comma. All right, so change it to comma. So, so that is uh, one, one thing you can do. Of course, we can also import it as an Excel, as a table object, but uh, sometimes I think it's easier to do it this way. 
So let me just run these two cells to make sure there is no error. For now, there is no error. So what I'm going to do is to create a linear regression object. So I'm going to say linear lin ray. Let me call it lin ray or lin mod. Uh, lin mod. Okay, let's use the same name we use in R. Lin mod is equal to linear regression. Okay, I'm going to also run it to make sure I'm not missing out anything. And then at this point, I'm going to do something called pre-processing. So at this time, you don't have to worry about this, but it's something you'll need to do. X is equal to X dot reshape. So it's going to be minus one plus one. Okay, so the next thing we are now going to fit the regression model. So in this case, we are we are going to write all the codes, and then after that, after then we plot the graph at once. So let's to fit the regression model, I'll say linreg dot fit. So this is the same thing we did when we used LM function in R. In this case, we just say linreg dot fit, and you say x and y. Uh, I hope I'm not missing out anything. All right, let's just run it to see. Okay, uh, linreg dot fit. Linreg is not defined. Okay, so it's actually linmod. That is the name. So it's going to be lean mod dot feet. All right, all right, perfectly, perfect. So it gives us this. Everything is fine. So we're now going to do something called prediction. So we are going to predict values of y uh, for the values of x using the model we have. So I'm going to say y. This time we are predicting new values for y, and this is the values that is going to be used to fit the regression line. So I'm going to say lean mod dot credit x all right again i like to run it to make sure i don't have an error now comes time for plotting so the first thing we are going to do let's do a scatter plot of the x and y values that is the first plot the second plot i'm going to do is uh of course uh, it's actually plt the plot plt the plot so you see that r tends to be a bit easier than python to do it scatter of plot and that is why i recommend running r side by side uh, with python so so at some point you may figure out that r is actually uh, the, the easier one to do so y red and then let's use color equals red same color we use and then we are going to show the plot by right? same plt that show all right so at this point, let's just run it to see. Okay, so this is what we have. Can we do a comparison with what we have in R? So this is what we have in R. And then we, this is what we have in Python. So it's about the same thing. But then how do we get the coefficients or the slope and intercept? So to do that, simply say, uh, so it's how, let's print out the slope. So lean mod dots uh, intercept. I think this is it. I can't remember. So well, let me try. Oh, perfect. So this intercept. So again, print lean mod dot uh, is this look square? Square. I think that is how it is. All right. So we have the question and the intercept. Let's now write the equation as well in case of Python. So I'm going to use uh, another color of paint. Let me use this color of paint. So at this point, we have the slope to be of y is equal to 12.05, 12.05 plus 2.14x. So this is r, and this is pi. Oh, sorry, I need to use the, the, the right thing. Python. So you can see that both of them gave the same results. So I recommend learning R side by side and I can teach you all these things easily. So feel free to get to me by leaving a comment for me. Also subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed before now. Feel free to like my video and share it around. And we'll see you in the next class. I remain kind to the tech pros.